Hey everybody, this is Christy Furio with Keys to the Shop, and you're listening to a Shift Break episode. This is episode number three in the Shift Break series. Um, every Thursday, we just give you a five minute or so episode, super short, something you can listen to on your Shift Break. Get it? Um, anyway, this is a short and to the point episode aiming at giving you tips and tools to help you thrive at work. And last week, we talked about the manager's top three, which were planning, communication, and follow through. And now we're going to talk about something that I think is really, really important for every single bar, and it has to do with hiring. Uh, We're talking about my favorite interview question. So in my positions of management in the past, I have been able to hire a good many people and also have had to decide to not hire a lot of people. So the question is always, how do you get to know somebody well enough that you have uh, can comfortably decide to bring them onto the team, represent your company, serve your customers? I mean, this is a really, really important thing because bad hiring leads to bad experiences with customers, uh, coworkers, et cetera. And many of you who are in management right now or owners uh, can think of maybe even two or three people who are on your staff right now that you think, boy, I really wish I didn't hire that person. And so we're always in refinement mode when it comes to hiring. And I find that this particular question that I've asked over the years has really come in handy. Now, of course, there are lots of different things you do in the interview process. Um, It's much more complicated than this. But but this is a, like I said, it's a short episode. So um, this is something that might be helpful for you. Now, the question is this. In what ways did you contribute to the problems in your last job? In what ways did you contribute to the problems in your last job? Now, it doesn't necessarily need to be the last job. It, it can be other uh, areas. It could be other jobs. But the, po- the point is, is that this question is meant to um, draw out whether or not the person is self-aware. Or are they going to throw people under the bus? Because I've had both happen. One person will say, you know, they'll be vulnerable and they'll say, I was really, um, I was bad about closing shifts. You know, I didn't really clean things as well as I, I could have. And I was always missing things and I was really, and I was able to work through that, but it was always a weak point. Um, they might talk about their customer service. They might talk about, um, their, their coffee making skills There are lots of different things or interpersonal skills, whatever it might be. A person who is self-aware is going to have at front, usually at the front of their mind, not just a list of reasons why they are good for the position, but also a list of realistic things that they're actively working on and that they're aware of. And I've had really great conversations with people about these things. And I'll tell you from my point of view as a manager uh, and the person doing the hiring, I would much rather work with, teach, or coach somebody in the onboarding process who is a self-starter when it comes to self-improvement, when they're self-aware. And this really helps when they answer the question in detail and substance. Now, the opposite has also happened and has contributed to, and I can think of at least one or two cases where it was the final straw in the interview process where I said, well, I'm not hiring this person. It's usually a form of either having no answer at all where you don't even really understand the question, um, or in the cases where it was really the final straw for me, it was throwing people under the bus. And I remember the worst one for me was when somebody answered this question by saying that their contribution to the problems in the last job was not speaking up soon enough about the issues that other people had on the bar at their last job. And I could just sense myself wanting to just say back to them, like, do you understand the question? Um, So I just kind of asked the question again a little bit more straightforward and they didn't really have an answer for it. But it showed me in that moment a great deal about their character or lack thereof. And that's what you're after in the hiring process. You want to get to know a little bit about the most important areas of people's uh, way of thinking and way of being with people and with themselves. So if they're self-aware enough with themselves 
and they don't throw people under the bus and blame other people for their shortcomings, these are really good signs. Okay, so the question is, in what ways did you contribute to the problems in your last job? And then just tease that out as, as you go in the interview process. So for what it's worth, I've gotten a lot of great uh, results from that question and um, maybe add it to your list of questions and, and tactics that you have to bring great people into your organization. And I hope that it's really helpful. Um, I know that there are lots of great questions that people have, and I would be interested in hearing what yours are. So if you would email me, chris at keys to the shop.com, let me know what your favorites are and what you've found to be the most useful. Um, you can also direct message me at keys to the shop on Instagram, and I'll read like the top uh, five or so questions that are sent in on the show next week on the next Shift Break episode. So that's it for today's Shift Break episode. I hope you have an amazing week, and uh, we'll see you next time.